was um, a difficult night for us. Most of us, we, we couldn't sleep because, you know, this was not the plan. Um, our plan was to, uh, you know, to try to win our first game, you know, and uh, moreover, this this game was like a derby for, for, for us Gambians, you know. Yeah, we, we went out there, we did our part in the game, but then it wasn't enough. I think um, it wasn't enough we also, but we really fought hard. You know, we lose the game, but we really fought hard with our hearts. And um, like, like, like you said, the game is gone now. We just have to uh, focus, focus for the next game. You see, already the training was um, a bit lively today because we put everything behind us and try to focus uh, for the next game, um, which is the most important thing now. We considered an early goal. Uh, it wasn't easy, uh, you know, and it's never easy to concede an early goal. I mean, I mean, against a team like Senegal. So uh, we just have to avoid that and try to be together, try to be compact. And uh, you know, if it was zero-zero in the first half, uh, I would say there there is chance that we we could have won the game. But you know, we just need to try and uh, do better in our final third as well. And uh, yeah, to avoid the early goal and do better in the final third. I think if we try to rectify these two these two errors, we can we can we can do better for the next games. We can do better, yeah. Positive things. Uh, I saw a team who was uh, fighting, who created the first uh, good opportunity against uh, Senegal to score with Alassane Mane. We were too too easy, too uh, too uh, passive in the defense by the 1-0. But after the 1-0, I think uh, we came back in the game. We had a fantastic free kick from Musa Barrow. We had some headers during the game from Ali Soe, from Badamosi later on, and also from Omar Kali. We had chances uh, to score that equalizer. But the red card naturally uh, was crucial. I mean, if just before half time you drop to uh, uh, ele 10 against 11 against uh, the champion of Africa, 1 0 behind in 35 degrees, it was difficult with 10 to, to bounce back. But I saw a lot of positive things. I saw we created 10, ch 10 chances. Senegal had 12 chances. They had five on target. We have two on target. If you look to uh, other teams, I see people talking about Mozambique. Mozambique had uh, six chances, four, two on target, two goals. Victor Guinea had seven chances, one on target, one goal, uh, um, and and so we didn't score the chances we got. We had more chances than all the, the the teams similar level to us, and Senegal was very clinical in scoring the goals. Uh, they they were uh, scoring beautiful goals, uh, but we fought good and our goalkeeper played well, and we are ready to bounce back. Uh, Guinea is another game. Uh, if we win that game, we are back in the running to to to, to qualify for the next round. The mood is good, the players are ready. Uh, Abdullah Jalo and Ibrahim Akoli return to the selection. So uh, we are ready on Friday to do everything to get back a uh, good position to qualify. If we win on Friday, and we hope our brothers from Senegal beat Cameroon, then we are second in the group with one game to go. Uh, then we need to draw against Cameroon in the last match, and then we are qualified. Against Senegal, uh, everybody knows it was a, a tough game. Uh, we are all hoping for a good results, uh, at least in the minimum to secure a point against Senegal, but it didn't happen. But like I told some people earlier, we all know by standards, I mean, of course, yes, the hopes are there, but stand football also has standards. And uh, Senegal, our cities right now, they are ahead of us in terms of football, but we were hoping that the, the commitment and the determination would take us through. It didn't happen that way. Um, so the coach and the technical uh, side have uh, learned the lessons and they're going to work on it and probably you know, do better in the uh, game, uh, our next game against Guinea Conakry. On the on the theoretical side, is is more about the hopes and uh, what the full dependence on the on the coach and his technical team. But like you said, even after the match yesterday, uh, I went to the, the the change room and we had this short conversation, and he said the same thing that um, he believes that the players, the, the the team has done extremely well, and I think every individual who is genuine would, would definitely agree that what we saw yesterday in in the pitch in terms of performance is exceptional, and uh, if they put up the same performance against Guinea, we're definitely going to, to, to get the three points that we need, and that is the hope. The rest of it is more technical issues, and uh, we've seen them already started the recovery session, and they will continue into that, and uh, we're hopeful that um, uh, victory will be our side on Friday.
First, I just wanted to apologise. Literally, there was there was no malice into it. I I had no intent to tackle the tackle the player. I was, you can see from my my head direction that I wasn't even looking at the player. And you can see straight away I apologised. There was no no intent, no malice. It's funny enough. I just wanted to see the game. I still half time so we can work on the second half tactic to try to get back in the game. Like I'm probably no more disappointed than anyone else. I'm probably the most disappointed because I went in change room. I was disappointed in myself because we, we were doing really well. I think we were still in the game and. All we need all we need was to stay in it and get but um, we started off really well. And um, like I said, I'm so disappointed in myself because I thought we could have gained something from that game. I'll help the team as much as I can. Even in the training, we're gonna be the opposition side. I'll try to help them and give them as much information and tactical person that plays in my position or whoever does it, I'm sure they do a good job. Or even maybe even better, you never know. But um like I said, I trust my teammates. They trust me and like now it's in their hands and I think every game that we play from now on is is the final. We've seen, we've seen the team have really supported you even in this difficult moment. Um, I think it shows a lot about this group. Oh yeah, it's, it's important. I guess, uh, I've always said it. This Gambian team is, is it's not, we're not just teammates, we're family. And that's the most important thing. And like, I can't, I can't thank them enough. Them, the staff, the fans, everyone that's been behind my back. Like I said, I had no intention to, I didn't even want to tackle him. I just wanted to show him the other side. And I stepped to the left and I somehow stepped on his Achilles. Like I said, there was no malice into it, and I said I, I went. I went at half time, and I was crying. I was saying because it was an opportunity for us to gain something, from, gain something from that game, and I thought we was doing really well at the time. So yesterday, the game we lost, but we fight all the way to the end. So as you can see today, the training, the, the spirit is high. We're looking forward to the next game, and hopefully, we're gonna be victorious, inshallah. What do you think the Gambia went wrong yesterday? Ah, no, as, as, you, as you all know, like Senegal is the only champion, so it's never easy playing with champions. So, that's what we're going to learn from our mistakes and we're going to come back and uh, try to do what we do best and hopefully we can win, inshallah, against Guinea. The next game is Guinea. You know, you scored against them, which was a very important one. Now we are playing them, it seems like it's a rematch. How are you guys preparing mentally, psychologically, because they want to come for a revenge? Like everything is positive, positive. We already played against them, so we just have to work out on a few things and then we're good to go, inshallah. I have big hopes that we're going to win the game, inshallah. I think coming to the tournament, you, we always want to do better, better than the last Afghan. But as the situation is right now, we're just looking game after game. So right now, our concentration is the game against uh, Guinea. Then. We're going to fight and give everything 100%, so we're looking forward to the game against Guinea. See, we prepared well for the, for the match. Uh, we put everything on the table as we could in terms of technical preparation and all other preparations. Uh, it has been a while that we did not uh, have mark against them. It's more than, I think, nearly, if not more than a decade. Uh, I think I could remember the famous uh, draw in Dakar. Uh, since then, we've not uh, had an encounter with our neighbors. Uh, I think really it was the preparation from both sides uh, very intense. And then uh, it was a derby that we all remember, unfortunately. Uh, it didn't go away. Uh, uh, they were a better side yesterday, especially when we came so early down, uh, one man down, 11, 10 against 11. Uh, really didn't help uh, the results. But by and large, um, I think not everybody, but at least most Gambian fans are satisfied with the performance of the boys, though not the, the results, but they're not the, the result that counts. Uh, we respect them, the defending champions, um, one of the uh, top teams in Africa, uh, has been the number one team in Africa for almost two years, you know, until they are uh, disposed by Morocco, till now they are third, if I'm not forgotten. So it's a big team. Very big individual players too. 
a team that has really been together for a while, and the younger ones coming in. Uh, but it's a good challenge for us and for the boys. I think we learned a lot from that match. Uh, that will help us to prepare better for Friday's match against Guinea. So, in a nutshell, it's been a good match, as I said, but I think every match, every game, uh, is the res desired results uh, that one looks for. If that didn't happen, then we have some disappointment. But we take it in good faith and then go back to drawing board and prepare. <laughs>
this will continue throughout the breadth of your your careers and um, beyond. So on, on, on that note, we want to say thank you to the National Scorpions, to the staff, the team, the journalists, um, uh, uh, Honorable Minister, uh, uh, PS, and all, um, and all, everyone uh, present. So with that in mind, we just want to say a big thank you, and we wish you good luck for the next match, inshallah. and hopefully more games to come inshallah and we're gonna go and approve what we can do and maybe we have uh, 11 or more men of the matches in the next one so thank you very much jay jeff everyone <laughs>